Alright folks, welcome back to Let's Play Romance of Three Kingdoms 11. This is Mysterious JG, your friend in the digital age, and uh, the Master Dueler who was able to defeat Zhang Liao, even after uh, fighting somebody else before Zhang Liao came out. That was like, wow. I am... I just can't get over myself. That was so much fun. There's a lot of luck involved in that. I don't really understand the duel mechanics that well. Um, I really don't see... I, the, the random number generator is being kind to me. What can I say? The random number generator is apparently a loyal servant of the Han who wants to see Liu Bei's forces succeed. Can you blame the random number generator? It too has uh, enjoyed great privilege as a citizen of the Han. The Han Emperor's blessing has allowed the random number generator too to enjoy prosperity and peace. You guys just leave that poor alone. Ferment unrest. No, you guys do not get to take Shang Liao back. I don't even try it. Wow, you guys are really determined to destroy that unit. Mr. Sirius might have to help them uh, hold out or something. Looks like their defenses are... Okay, as long as it's not Zhang Liao escaping before he even had a chance to ask him to serve. Mass Song. Right, he's a Ma Chao officer. Who cares? We're getting him back in a few turns. Yeah, it's Zhu Rong's unit. I don't want her getting captured or anything. Except to do a doom scream of it, it's not really likely. Wow, that didn't really go that well. I thought cavalry were good against the pikes. Going to be wiped out though. Oh, well. Rats. Uh, maybe I'll do a pr prisoner swab. Zhu Rong for Zhang Liao. That'd be insane. But I like having Nama and officers. I like having female officers, and uh, she's the only one I'm aware of who, you know, can check both boxes. aren't stupid and ill-advised, that tactic is a good idea. Sadly, I tend to launch stupid, ill-advised attacks. Mm. Probably get them out of here at this point. I believe this, this, this uh, board is probably lost now. Uh, we'll 
kind of troops am I going to be facing when they storm through here? They're going to be very small, weak units, so they can't come up here and like, harass these facilities, which kind of suck. So what have I got to work with up here? What kind of troops do I want to send? They're going to have... Not a lot of whatever that is, not a lot of whatever that is. These are towers. Anything will be strong against them. I'm pretty sure this is towers. Yeah. It's not a very good tower unit either. He's only got a seal with it. So, these are going to be pikes. So, let's send up a cavalry unit. You know? That's a pretty freaking good cavalry unit, too. guys have white riders? I thought white riders was like a special skill of the Gonzoon Zons dudes. White riders. Strong horse bow. Strong horse bows available without research. Oh wow, these guys are going to be horse bows? Or you just have to get... I don't really know. Never mind. We'll find out. It's just sure. And I already did this fights up here, you yeah, know, the reason that this is still not over for combat is because of the invasion of uh, Wu Wei, of course. I think. Wu Wei, which has a bunch of facilities. It's kind of cool, they've got these facilities that are like completely protect protect protected. You have to go way out of your way to attack them, so pretty much those facilities are not going to be part of the combat. This is a pretty isolated city anyway. This is where I would have... Attack time, baby. If I had remembered to make my uh, Killer Khan uh, character, uh, this probably would have been her home base. Should finish you off, bitches! Nice to have Vulture Bobo fight against Ma Tang, but it just, uh, or Ma Chow. But no, it's kind of an unnecessary risk. You know what? I'm feeling kind of risky. Uh, she's not busy, and she is pretty busy. I was gonna send, um, Zheng Tsai and maybe Zhou Yun up there to harass this city until we could get a full fledged attack prepared. Citadels showing up, and I don't want the inefficiencies that are created when order is too low. We don't get all of our gold and our food. And I'll give I'll pay lip service to the idea that I need to think about getting stuff out of my ports and whatever, but yeah, there's not a whole lot. 
this port. It's got some food, it's got some gold, but it's nothing that's going to change the world here. Our charisma increased there. And these guys are all... Guan Yu Wu is almost ready to go up there and make a difference. How's the food situation here? It is depleting. Continuing to not do a whole lot with their development over here. Yeah, we're gonna work once. All right, now let's watch the tragedy of. Well, let's watch the tragedy of. You wrong getting uh, defeated. Or oh, this port getting captured. Both of those things are gonna happen real soon, I'm afraid. Okay. Oh good! They defeated it with a bow unit, which means the chances for getting captured are very low, and as you saw, it didn't happen. They're just continuing to beat me up as Well, you know, what can I say? They deserve a little bit of revenge. I really fucked them up there. Move on, a successfully employed Wong John. Let me lend Liu Bei my strength, I guess. Uh, that's nice and all, but it's Zhang Liao that I want. Oh, these guys are not finished off yet. Can I uh, attack using my horsebow powers? Yes, I can! Awesome! Those guys are horsebows. It's all thanks to Chang Queen. Awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I shouldn't have sent you guys away. You can still... Uh, there's still a chance to win this. Well, maybe not. Alright, fine. Head back. Oh, I don't think so. You... Friend, may I'm gonna use the clash tactic on the off chance that it helps me capture Zhu Huang. He's another honorable, really powerful way off, so that'd be nice to have. And he's apparently gonna swim his way back to Hu Yang. Maybe I should have taken this first. Then he wouldn't have had anywhere to go. And we're on fire. This sucks. They do have 10 days food supply left. Serious time to probably take more damage than you inflict. Oh no. Surprised. So they're a better cavalry unit, but they're badly outnumbered, so. Important thing is to get Zhang Liao safely into this city. Start trying to employ him. That's why not. It's going to take a while to get him, but let's send him over there. Let's reward our new Tao Tao officer.
goes Hu Chang Army. Oh, Mate. You don't really have a lot of time left here, buddy. Hope you've got your affairs in order and all that kind of stuff. These guys either I wiped them out and didn't notice. Oh, never mind. They're running away. I was thinking perhaps they, um. I'll take some shots from this tower, but that's okay. It's like the opportunity to capture troops. Or, um, yeah, to get captured, but it would have been nice. Yeah, baby! Wood oxen time! Woo! Lovely facilities will be ours, except that most of them will end up being destroyed. Hey, they've already got troops out in the field here. What are you guys up to? It's my Lu. I hate you, Jen, is going to be there till the end. And she went with white riders, which means strong. Wow, you went with pedagogy? What an idiot. Why would you use that skill? Bang is apparently an idiot. Zhuge Liang's friend, the son of the late Han senior minister Sui Li, the younger brother of Sui Jun. He appeared in the famous story in which Liu Bei paid three visits. Oh, he's one of those guys who's like just hanging around singing. Yeah, there was like, you know, minor bit characters who showed up every time Liu Bei went to try to meet Zhang. Well, I don't know, just meet the damn thing. While going to visit Zhuge Liang, Liu Bei, who had come to Long Zhong Silvers for the first time, mistook Sui Zipeng for Zhuge Liang. When asked by Liu Bei, Sui Zipeng explained his theory on the correction of a disorder, warning Liu Bei that even if he did go to did go to get Zhuge Liang's help, it was useless to try and fight. I ah, so tired fight against the fates of the time. Sui Zipong and Zhu... Yeah, I remember that. I've actually been rereading the book recently. You know, I've been on a Three Kingdoms kick, obviously, with the LP and all. And I remember that. He's like... He meets the guy, and the guy's perfectly affable. But he says, you know, I wish you all the luck in the world, but... You know, there's no one man's gonna be able to overcome the forces of chaos in the land. And he's like, I fear you may be right, sir, but I must continue on. And the guy's like, alright, well, good luck. Whatever, dude. He kind of takes off. Fate of the time. Sui Zipong and Zhu Xu both recognized... Zhu Ge Liang's brilliance, but Shui Zhipong pointed out his shortcomings whenever he discovered them. When Zhu Ge Liang compared himself to Guan Zhong, the great, the great key prime minister of the Chun Kui period, and Yuan Yi, the famous Yan general of the Warring States period, Guan Zhipong agreed. Okay, well, good. Glad I read all of that. Yeah, I hate you, Zhen. We've been waiting a long time to get her on our force, but it's coming soon. We've got a couple different Zhang Jis. Only one of them, however, has Kion tries. And City and Sustenance, the city's monthly food income, times 1.5. That's a good skill. That's one I thought about recommending for myself in future. Uh, uh. But a Divine Cavalry, stronger cavalry tactics from Mon Chao. We're going to have to deal with that eventually. Yeah, I 
just get working on another boat, probably. Efficient. Oh, they are. Food use 2560. Harvest zero. Oh, food sufficient doesn't mean they're taking in more than they're using. It just means that they're not going to run out on the next turn. So it's not really that useful. Okay. Alright, well, Juron's unit was defeated without her being captured, so that's nice. are continuing to chip away at this thing without quite finishing it off. Maybe I should have left the siege tank, or siege tank, siege unit up here. Liu Bei's army of Zhang Lu has been attacked and taken over by Cao Cao's army. Wu Ju has become a prisoner? I didn't think I had any officers in there. That's the fireball finished. Oh no, they're using fireball tactics. Flames are rising, I'm scared. Oh, so Luigi Underface has just arrived and wandered into a bunch of fire and then put them out. Excellent tactical decision. You guys are confused. Understandable. Got the prisoner there. I need to take this back as soon as possible to rescue that prisoner whose name I've already forgotten. But I haven't forgotten his sacrifice in the name of Shu. Ji Hao Ba. Blah! Who cares about Ji Hao Ba? got in there now is a tower. So they're not really in a good shape to launch a ground attack on us. They'll have 291 of whatever these guys are carrying. Bows. Yeah, they're not in a great sh They've got about 7,000 troops in there, but it's going to be a siege unit, so... Easy pickings, really. Alright, let's finish things up here. Get Wu Wei nice and taken over. Yeah, and not a moment too soon, Chu Gei Liang is about to run out of food. It's like, stop picking out, Chu Gei Liang, my lord. Wu Wei captured, baby. 
captured Lu Shang and not a whole lot of other people because they're all holed up in that last city. Thanks for the proposal, but I decline. What, what are you talking about? I'm not listening to your request. Save your breath. Gotta catch them all, generic generals. They're not generic, they can be Find out if all your outranks Zhushu. Nope, then I would be pretty surprised if he did. Yeah, we're a little bit closer, folks, to having this ready to be made into a generic uh, computer controlled political block. May not even be bothered to build up all the stuff, uh, all the facilities. Let the computer do it. Although, they don't trust them to do it right. Anyway, folks, it's uh, Marshall Cavalry units out of here. Jing Tsai and Pang Tong make a beautiful team. I actually did kind of think when I was um, first hearing about Jing Tsai's supposed story of being like, oh, unlike her father, she's intelligent and calm. I was like, yeah, it'd be kind of fun if she was, like, hanging out with Pang Tong, the, uh, intelligent guy who's not Chu Gay Leong. They make a nice team. Let's send her up there to destroy some towers and just generally make these guys very nervous. We can probably send up a nice, uh... Spear unit, too. Zhao Yun really shouldn't be part of the final assault, but, um... These guys can probably get started without him. Now we're back at 2,000 technique points. Do I want to save another... Three th another thousand and get one of these horse bows. Yeah, you know what? Horse bows be pretty damn good. Spears can't be counterattacked in forest. Uh, yeah, that's nice. That's nice. Crossbow range plus one is serious. Serious boost. Horse bows and crossbows are the things to really boost up here. Uh, but at two thousand, I could get stone construction. All that would really allow me to do is develop better ships, and that's in the long run. As I start getting, like, uh, catapults and stuff. I don't even like catapults as much as fires, uh, towers. I think they tend to miss, but that might only be in Romance of the Three Kingdoms 10 that I'm thinking of. Either way, the battle is raging on on many different exciting fronts. probably have you recruiting and inspecting instead of spending everything you've got on uh, boats. Meanwhile, it's way too early to think there's any chance of it working, but um, what would happen if we asked Shang uh, Liao to come work for us? Not a whole lot. Somebody have to talk to him already. Wow! Pancakes guy can hire this guy. No, never mind. Uh, Pancakes guy can hire somebody else. They had me fooled for a second there. JG Mystery, the man who captured Zhang Liao. As I will remind you as often as possible for the rest of this LP. But, um, 
I think I'm going to have to continue reminding you about that in another video, folks. Because I think I'm going to call go ahead and call this one a video. Uh, but you know, hey, we accomplished something. We took uh, Ma Tang, the second to last city. What is it? On Ding? Is that the name of the place where he's going to be making his last stand? I don't know. I can't remember. I'll see in a minute on the map. I don't remember exactly where he made his last stand against uh, the forces of Master Reaper, but, um, yeah, Han Ding. Um, I recommended to Master Reaper in uh, his LP even, even earlier, Romance of Three Kingdoms game, than the one he's currently LPing, that he take Ma Tang out earlier than it sounded like he had planned to. Because he was kind of starting out down here someplace, and I was like, hey, Montan could be a real pain in the ass if you let him stay there too long because of his powerful cavalry units. Well, maybe it's just that I'm not good at taking out Montang, but um, I found that he didn't put up as much of a fight as I was expecting, but uh, still, those cavalry units are pretty effective. We will see the end of Montang's cavalry, at least as something other than a force within Liu Bei's army in the next video or two. Because uh, we've already got Jing Tsai, Pang Tong, and um, Branded Elemental heading up here to attack on Ding. They've got no siege weapons helping them out. But if these guys don't come back there and reinforce the city, they ain't going to need them. So, yeah, we got all that to look forward to. Thanks a lot for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.